Hey fellows and fellas, this is the Homestead Prepper and um, I thought I'd show you how I'm going to try and repair this exhaust manifold that broke. As you can see right here I've ground down the edges at like a 45 degree angle all the way around it. I left some on the edge there so it had some way to position itself so it wasn't riding around loose. And uh, what I'm going to be using today is a oxyacetylene torch. Now you can uh, arc weld cast metal. Um, but, you know, I didn't feel like building a fire and, you know, welding this thing out of a, a hibachi with charcoal because it's so hot out here. I guess if it was like, you know, 12 degrees or something, then uh, I might have considered it. But um, I'm going to be using a gas weld. And uh, uh, y'all have heard of oxyacetylene. And uh, here's my tanks. And that's a lot of my junk. And I got a rig here from Harbor Freight, which I paid... I think it was on sale for $99 and they let me use a 20% a coupon off on it and that dropped it down to like 79 bucks which is a smoking deal. As a matter of fact I bought several of these. I have a Victor rig that I use on my daily thing for brazing uh, copper for air conditioning but uh, I thought I'd try this out and it works great and uh, this right here is, the, uh, is for a cutting torch. Let's see if I can do that. Oh, that's another tractor over there, a project. And there's my auto lift. Um, anyway, th this right here is used for cutting metal, which is actually pretty fun. If y'all have ever done that, it's pretty easy to do. But we're not using that today. What we're going to be using is this brazing tip. And uh, they have different size tips for different size applications. Now, I've never welded cast before, but I'm going to attempt it. And... Um, the way you work, get hold of this. The way you work this is this right here is your oxygen, where the green hose hooks into it, and the red hose is the acetylene. And what you do is you crack open the acetylene, and you'll hear it a little bit. You just take the striker, the striker, I find out where it's going and you start a, uh, a flame like that and then what you do is you want to add a little bit of oxygen to it see and you get a flame like that you get a little more acetylene a little more oxygen and when you start hearing that that noise right there you get that little blue tip right there you're ready to go if it doesn't need the cast iron up more and you give it a little more fuel, which is your acetylene, and a little more oxygen, and it'll do wonders. And uh, whenever you do cast, you have to heat this thing up. You just don't start... Oh, and I, I should uh, warn you that you need to have on your... Uh... I'm, I'm going to go ahead and turn this out. This is going to be hard for me to weld this and show this to you. But um, you need to have a pair of these. These are number fives. And I'll try and see if we can look through there. It kind of, kind of is for protecting your eyes against that that radiation. And uh, you know, if there's sodium in the metal and stuff like that, it gives off certain wavelengths that's damaging to your eyes. But anyway, just just put on a pair of those. And I've got some uh, flux here, and I've got some cast. This is for welding cast metal. And you heat this up, and you dip this in this flux, and then you you run it over this but you've got to heat this up first you know like I said heat it up and then once it's nice and hot then you try adding this to it so we'll see how that turns out and what else was I going to tell you oh I have these rods over here these are for welding aluminum and I got this at Harbor Freight too normally I've been using Coral 60 for welding uh, 6063 T5 aluminum, which I've welded aluminum pretty good. Uh, like I said, this will be my first attempt on uh, cast metal here because I'm trying to repair this um, this exhaust manifold. So, anyway, this is the Homestead Prepper, and I just want to show you a couple things about oxyacetylene and uh, signing out.